Okay, so first of all, I'm going to take the percentage here and times it by 100 to turn it into a number. Then I'll type 0 and 10 and select both of these and drag down until I get to 100. And then I'll do equals if. And the logical test will be if this value here is greater than this value here. And if that is true, then I want it to give me the number 10. And if not, then I want to do this number here minus the number above and close brackets. Then I need to turn both of the B3s into absolute cell references. So we'll continue looking in this cell here when I drag the formula down. And then I'll press enter and I will drag the formula down. So for all of these numbers here, which are less than 57.5, I end up with the number 10. And then here, 60 is greater than 57.5. And so instead, I do 57.5 minus 50. And I end up with the number 7.5. Then all the numbers after this are negative numbers. I want to change all of the negative numbers to zero. So I am going to wrap all of this into a max formula. And this here will be the first number, and then I'll do a comma, and the second number will be zero, and close brackets. And so now if this formula here gives me a negative number, it will be replaced by a zero, because when comparing a negative number and a zero, the zero will always be the maximum. And enter and then I'll drag this formula down. And now all of the negative numbers have been replaced by zero. Now I'll select all of this and go to insert and insert a 2D clustered bar chart. Then double click on this chart to open up the formatting bar and we will change the formatting. So I want the horizontal axes to have a maximum of 10. Then I'll select the bars and change the gap width to 0%. Then I'll delete these axes and these and the grid lines and the chart title. And then change the border to no line. Then go up to format and make it so the chart is a square. So I'll change the height to 8 centimeters and the width to 8 centimeters. Then I will go to Insert and Illustrations and Shapes and I will select the rectangle. And then hold down Shift while clicking and dragging to draw a square. Change the shape fill to this blue here and change the shape outline to white and then increase the weight in order to make the outline thicker. And then I will control C to copy, select the bars and control V to paste. Now the square is being stretched out, so I need to go to fill and change it from stretch to stack and scale with. And it automatically gives a one to one ratio. So now each square represents 1%, and for the 0.5%, I get a partial square. I want to be able to see all of these squares that have not been filled in, so I will make a second series, and they will all have the number 10, and then Control C to copy, and select the chart, and Control V to paste. Then select the orange bars and change the series overlap to 100%. Then select the shape and we will change the shape fill to be a lighter blue. And control C to copy, then select the orange bars and control V to paste. The squares have been stretched out again, so we need to go back to fill 
and change it to stack and scale with. Then right click on the chart and select data and change the order of the series so we can see the one underneath and OK. And now we have a waffle chart and I can change the percentage up here and the chart will update to match it. Now the waffle chart doesn't necessarily have to be squares, we can have any shape we want. So I'll go back to shape format and edit shape and change shape and we can select any of these shapes. So I will choose the circle and then control C to copy and select the bars at the top and control V to paste. Then select the circle again and change the color back to this darker blue and control C to copy, then select the other bars and control V to paste. And now they are all circles. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a waffle chart in Excel and that is everything.